call this an acquired taste. I feel like you're the biggest advocate for octopus right now well, with this grilling segment that you did. It's here. not something that you usually yeah. see on a menu, but it's really good. And we're getting one local chef's Italian take on this seafood dish. So we take you to Serafina in Boston in today's What's Cooking. Serafina, located in Boston, focuses on light and fresh Italian cuisines. For executive chef Brendan Burke, it's all about presentation when he cooks. Simple food, really simple ingredients, and just kind of letting them shine on their own. And today, the octopus is the star of the show. I'm really excited about this recipe because I love octopus. If someone wants to make this at home, what's the first thing they need to do? Just walk us through the recipe. You're typically going to find octopus at anywhere, like a Whole Foods or any of the Asian markets. Um, you're probably going to get it frozen. So the first step is obviously going to be the thawed out. I don't know if I've ever seen it not all chopped up before. Yeah, it's, it's a funny looking creature. In your pan, add chopped onion, celery, and one jumbo carrot. Okay, so these are chunkier pieces. Yeah. Now for your garlic cloves. Give them a little smash with uh, the side of your knife, and that just kind of releases even more flavor out of the garlic. Uh, I'm gonna add two sprigs of uh, fresh rosemary, about five sprigs of fresh thyme, and uh, two sprigs of fresh oregano. If you have some wine corks hanging out, um, toss them right in. Stop it. And that's actually going to hopefully add to our tenderness. Now top it off with a blended cooking oil and some white wine. Place it in a preheated oven at 250 for about three hours. Then it should look like this. But that smells amazing. Yeah, definitely when you pull the foil off, you get a, a, just right in the face, the rice wow. flavor. Take it out of the pan and let it cool. For one person, Chef Brendan takes one leg and coats it with olive oil before placing it on the grill a couple minutes on each side. Brendan suggests serving the octopus on a bed of fregola pasta mix, which is like a Sardinian-style couscous. I cannot wait to try it, so I'm just going to dig in. I hope you dig in with me. Give it a try. Your masterpiece. It was so yummy, yeah. and I was expecting, um, with it being cooked like that, the texture to be a little bit rubbery or something, yeah, yeah, but yeah. it was really nice and tender and over the pasta, I'm, it was good. I'm surprised, I just have to yeah, say. We'll have to go there and get yeah. it for, I feel like, you guys to believe me. And the wine corks, that was really I loved new, that. right? Unique tip, that's for sure. All right.